there's one thing I want to talk about uh, that I am all in on a team in, in Ohio right now. I'm all in on them. I didn't choose them when I had a mulligan. But as you know, I chose them to win the AFC North, and it didn't look good when they were 0-2. Not at all. But we on this show, because I know you feel the same way. I don't know. We haven't had much of a conversation about it, TJ, but you and I, Chris, were lockstep on Joe Burrow. Love that guy. This guy's a winner. He was basically put on the planet to win football games. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Like, just again, he had Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase on the same college football team. Well, that's part of the reason why they won a national championship, and he threw 60 touchdown passes at LSU. This guy takes a beating and keeps on ticking, and he shows up to work, and you just get the sense that he's going to win. And when he doesn't, you know, he he takes it. He doesn't deny it. He just he takes it, and he makes himself better. God, I just love the way he holds himself and comports himself. I love it all. And yesterday, the Bengals went back into Tennessee where they won a divisional playoff game last year despite Burrow getting sacked. Nine times. He threw for 348 yards in that playoff game, and they won it. He got sacked nine times in that game. This time around, it he was taking a beating, and he didn't have Jamar Chase in this game because the hip injury that there was a report that he could return to this game wasn't ready, and no Joe Mixon either. So he'll just take T. Higgins and Samaje Piran and beat you. That's what he'll do. He's so good, and this team is really good defensively and getting better. And Jamar Chase is slated to come back next week. And this team has won three in a row, and they are now 7-4 and four after starting 0-2. I'll do that math for you. They've won seven of their last nine games. The other team that they lost to in the Super Bowl, their season is done. The Rams are completely beaten up. No Stafford, no Cup, now no Robinson. They've, they, I mean, their their offensive line is banged up. I mean, even their coach took one on the jaw yesterday. Ooh, and so, you know, the Bengals have zero hangover officially. And this is a Titans team that steals your soul, right? I mean, this is the tit- the Titans team that hits you. This is not one of those, you know, slinging around type games. You need to, what, as uh, Mike Vrabel once famously said on this program, take your heart pills and buckle up. Buckle up. That's what the coach of the Tennessee Titans, who's maybe feeling a little sad of the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry as well today, just as a little side. But I'll tell you what, man, this is a big boy pants game that the Bengals won yesterday. And if the Bengals do, because the Ravens lost in Jacksonville, wind up winning this division, this might mean Tennessee's got to go visit them if they face each other again in a playoff game. This is a huge tie break to have in their back pocket as they move on, and Joe Burrow knows it. Yeah, this is the kind of game that great teams win. It's, you know, it's not always going to be pretty. This is the NFL. You're playing really, really good teams on the opposing end. Uh, it's not going to be pretty all the time, but... You know, you got to find ways to win, and you know, we're starting to do that. And I just love it. He's wearing a, a sweatshirt that looks like something my 14-year-old Xander would wear, which is a tie-dye Bugs Bunny sweatshirt. Designer, Rich. I get it. <laughs> we wouldn't get it for Xander. He'd probably get ketchup on it. But that's what a 14-year-old does. It's called fashion. He loves ketchup. But he does love fashion. He loves fashion and ketchup, my, my oldest. <laughs> but Joe Burrow, man. Joey B. While we're all focused, rightfully so, on the Chiefs and the Bills, and the Dolphins are going to get some mad run this week. Mad run, because they're on Sunday night against the 49ers. That is a oh, huge... Man. Okay, so the Dolphins yeah. are going to really... There's going to be a lot of folks who have nice. not really zeroed in on what we zeroed in on, which is Tua being elite a month ago. Oh, and elite. and everybody, the Dolphins are going to get a ton of run this week, folks. And while everybody's focused on what Lamar Jackson tweeted at a guy who criticized him in the loss to Jacksonville, while everyone's focused on that, you know who just keeps on winning and keeps on ticking? Joe Burrow and the Bengals, who I believe is also going to get some run this week because you know who they play this week. 
Chiefs in the jungle, <laughs> just like last year. They beat twice last year. And yeah. and they won that game in Cincinnati, and that's when everybody kind of sat up straight and go, oh, uh, yeah. okay. What? What happened? And they were higher register all the way. Everyone talked to Bengals in the higher register all the way to the moment they lifted the Hunt Trophy in the home of Lamar Hunt last year. And by the way, that team last year also was 6-4 and four entering Thanksgiving week and had the same number of offensive touchdowns, points per game, and points per game allowed as this year's team. They had the same base as last year's team. Same. And they just beat the one seed in a big boy pants game without their top receiver and running back. But they got Joe Burrow and that defense and that kicker. Watch out for the Bengals. Yeah. All I'm saying. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.